So one of the big issues that you had in your family room before is there was absolutely no wall art, right? There was a sea of beige. So Lauren has come up with this really cool rustic panel art. Wow, okay. Yeah. So we've got these really beautiful purple stains. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. There's no purple in this project. If we layer our purple. <laughs> gotcha. So we've got this inexpensive plywood that we had pre-cut at a local hardware store. We're going to use some tape, some stain, and we're going to create this really cool geometric pattern. All right, so first up, just want you to give me a little line at our center point where it intersects. OK, so now that we have our center point, yes. we want two-inch stripes uh, along the entirety of the boards. Perfect. So we're going to take our tape, take them down like this. And every alternating two inches, we'll do another stripe of tape. Got it. So now let's get to staining. We've got this great driftwood color. OK. And then a nice, pretty gray. Oh, OK. I think we should start with gray, lay them down in an alternating pattern, and then go like this. So it's super subtle. We're gonna take our driftwood stain and do the same that we did before. Do you like this idea of kind of this rustic paneled art on the walls? Honestly, I'm not sure if I like it or not, but one thing I know is that I am just gonna be trusting, I'm gonna open my heart. We're just gonna walk through this step by step and you're gonna see this room start to come together. All right, we've got our two first panels done. Let's finish the other two and we're all set. Awesome. All right. And now that all of our boards are dry, we get the fun part, which is to peel off the tape and see all of our beautiful handiwork. All right. Boom. Oh, that's beautiful. Isn't that cool? I love this. You do? I do. Ugh. What do you think? I think it's absolutely beautiful. I love the clean lines. We're going to do four more panels, so we've got eight total. OK. All right, let's get to work.